when we finish making this film. People are going to watch it. Local police stations are going to see it. What's going to happen? Thanks for bringing up the terrifying potential of this film. Feed the goats together, OK? Yeah. Let's talk after school. I sold my house to start this service. I felt this calling to uh, get out there and help people. That's a 10 mil tube of CBD oil. Hello, it's Luke here. My mum's been given just a little bit of time to live. Most of them are either dying or they've been told they're going to die. Tens of thousands of people. Doctors and oncologists say that they've never seen results like this. 20 tumours down to less than five. You couldn't physically eat anymore without vomiting. Your child's on chemo. His tumours were growing at an exponential rate. His oil was started. His next MRI, his tumours are shrunk. We've taken on a responsibility now. I feel like a criminal if I stop. Are we going against the law? I don't want to go to jail. But there'll be definitely no cops if we go back way. If I was to turn my phone off tomorrow, so many people would be in a real spot. I also wanted to donate a bunch of oils to you guys. <laughs> the pain stopped within about 15 minutes. I had no future. You helped me and supported me through that. There's been a lot of talk and not a lot of action, and we're all sick of it. These are the steps in Australia to access medicinal cannabis. The whole system contradicts itself. What we're trying to do is uh, a positive, good thing, and is helping. Every single day, I get this massive rush of gratitude. Please don't give up. I hope it never gets to that. I've buried a bunch of it in the garden for you. Thank you for giving me the last year of my life back. This work that we do needs to be continued. They saved my life. I shouldn't be here. It's like this every day, mate.